and opinions expressed on my story, Living with Lupus Podcast, represents each person's individual experience. By listening to this podcast or reading our blog, you agree not to use this podcast or blog as medical advice to treat any medical condition in either yourself or others. As always, consult your own physician for any medical issues that you may be having. My Story Living with Lucas podcast is officially trademarked, all rights reserved. target in lupus. Also, you'll hear the latest in healthcare news. So are you ready? Now you know what I want you to do. That's right. Grab your cup of coffee, your cup of tea, and if you're listening late at night. Now you know I appreciate you. So grab Come on and join me right here on my story, Living with Lupus. He is the author of Positive Energy 24-7. And his latest book, It Was Destined, Urban Legend. He's Detroit's own author, Henry Long, to purchase an autographed copy of his book and to purchase his ebook, go to rightpath247.com. That's W R I T E. P-A-T-H-247.com. You can also follow him on Instagram at rightpath247. If you would like to appear on an episode of My Story Living with Lupus, you can contact us at mystorylivingwithlupus at gmail.com. Also visit us on our Instagram page and also our website, My Story Living with Lupus. Treat to Target Lupus. Treat to target in lupus. Another treat to target goal for lupus involves the prevention of flares, including nephritis, neuropsychiatric symptoms, and overall lupus symptoms. Prevention of damage also was established as a target with the goal of preventing early and late organ damage by controlling disease activity and toxicity from medications. Understanding the treat-to-target principle in rheumatology. Treat-to-target is a principle or approach that has been successful in treating certain diseases and conditions. The strategy initially was used to treat hypertension, high cholesterol, and diabetes. But the scope has broadened and treat to target has made its way into the thinking of rheumatic disease specialists. 
a treat to target strategy must have these three things a target a way to measure if the target has been hit or achieved available treatment options which make it possible to hit the target now when it comes to treat to target in lupus an international task force has been developing a treat to target strategy for lupus as well the task force established that remission of organ manifestations as well as systemic symptoms of lupus is a primary target of treatment for lupus. Another treat to target goal for lupus involves prevention of flares including nephritis, neuropsychiatric symptoms, and overall lupus symptoms. Prevention of damage also was established as a target with the goal of preventing early and late organ damage by controlling disease activity and toxicity from medication. Attention paid to a patient's quality of life is also important. Going forward, the task force intends to develop definitions for lupus remission and minimally acceptable disease activity. There is also a need for better assessment of flares. While there is hope for new lupus drugs in the future, there have been many more developed and marketed for rheumatoid arthritis since 1998, when Enbril became the first biologic drug approved for rheumatoid arthritis. Regarding drugs that are currently used to treat lupus, the task force will seek to determine if there is a low level of steroids that would be considered safe in a treatment of treat-to-target strategy. Also, questions about the appropriateness of hydroxychloroquine, better known as Plaquenil, for all lupus patients still exists. Next, you'll be hearing the latest in healthcare news. Motivational speaker, entrepreneur and creator of Right Side of 50 Life Lessons with Sheila Smith To book her for your next empowerment conference, contact her at rightside50 at gmail.com or call 404-447-68 Nine seven. Tea and conversation brunch with motivational speaker and creator of Right Side of Fifty. Location for this event will take place in Ellenwood, Georgia. For more information. You can call 404-447-6897 or email rightside50 at gmail.com. Now for the last.
latest in healthcare news. Johnson and Johnson settles with Ohio counties for twenty million prior to opioid trial. Johnson and Johnson and its pharmaceutical subsidiary Janssen agreed to a twenty point four million dollar settlement with two Ohio counties Tuesday in an effort to avoid a lengthy and costly federal trial about the opioid addiction epidemic. The settlement allows the company to avoid the resource demands and uncertainty of a trial as it continues to seek meaningful progress in addressing the nation's opioid crisis. Johnson & Johnson stated on Tuesday, Johnson & Johnson will pay a combined $10 million settlement in addition to reimbursing the county's $5 million for costs used to prepare for litigation and donating another $5.4 million in charitable contributions to nonprofit organizations in connection with opioid-related programs. A number of companies are scheduled to face federal trial October 21st in the U.S. Northern District of Ohio over whether manufacturers of prescription opioids misrepresented the risk of long-term opioid use. An Oklahoma judge ruled against Johnson & Johnson in a similar case in August, ordering the corporation to pay $572 million to the state. None of these programs properly address the risk of addiction, and there was no training provided to sales representatives on the history of opioid use or addiction, according to court rulings. The defendant's opioid marketing, um, oh, excuse me, in its multitude of forms, was false, deceptive and misleading according to a written decision. Johnson & Johnson said after the decision that it will appeal the ruling. Purdue Pharma, the company that made billions, did you hear what I said? Billions, selling prescription painkillers, Oxycontin, filed for bankruptcy in September after reaching a multi-billion dollar tentative settlement. The filing may also remove Purdue Pharma from the October 21st federal trial as any parties who wish to seek damages from the corporations with have to go through bankruptcy court. Now, to the families, I will put in a suit against them because of the pain that it had put you through. It Just say, for instance, if you had a loved one who became addicted on these drugs. And also, some blame would have to be put on the physicians also. But that is the latest in healthcare news. Well, you guys, it's that time for me to go. I know it was short. Please forgive me. But I had to complete some packing.
and Nevada. I'll be seeing you shortly. But before I go, I want to leave you with this. Life's not about how hard of a hit you can give. It's about how many you can take and still keep moving forward. Yes, you're going to have to go through hell. Worse than any nightmare you ever dream. But if you have a pulse, that means you have a God's not through with you yet. I'm your host, Susan Hendricks, for my story, Living with Lupus. I will see you next Friday before I get on that plane. So, have a peaceful and enjoyable weekend. And do me one. Life is too short. See you guys next week. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.